marhaban ana safa hi i am safa welcome to my channel learn with safa in our arabic fast track series today we are going to do lesson 5 in this lesson we are going to learn the possessive expression and the vocative particle are you ready let's start the possessive expression al idafa the possessive expression shows ownership of one thing over another it means adding one noun to another to form a relationship of possession or belonging for example the teacher's pen here there are two nouns the teacher and the pen which shows the relationship between the teacher and the pen let's see another example the student's book which literally means the book of the student here the two nouns show the relationship between the student and the book the possessive expression this principle is applied when two nouns are joined together to make one structure for example the teacher's pen in the possessive expression one noun is the possessor called mudaf ilayhi in this example the teacher is the possessor the other noun is the possessed noun called mudaf in arabic here the pen is the possessed noun there are three important rules to remember while using the possessive expression the first one the possessor is always in genitive case that is the last letter takes a kasra or kasratain the second one since the possessed noun is definite it cannot take tanween and it is never prefixed with al the third one the possessed noun can be in any case in normal cases it is nominative so it ends with a dhamma but if the possessed noun is preceded by a preposition it takes the genitive case that is it ends with a kasra now let's see some examples kitabul mudarrisi the teacher's book in this possessive expression the word kitab book is the possessed noun the possessed noun is in the nominative case that is it ends with a dhamma let's repeat kitabul mudarrisi the teacher's book the next one kitabul mudarrisi the teacher's book in this possessive expression the noun al mudarrisi is the possessor the possessor is always in genitive case that is the last letter takes a kasra or kasratain let's repeat kitabul mudarrisi the teacher's book now let's see some more examples the first one kitabut talibi the student's book in this possessive expression the noun kitab book is the possessed noun and at talbi the student is the possessor let's repeat kitabut talibi the student's book the second one ala maktab al mudarrisi on the desk of the teacher here since the possessed noun is preceded by a preposition it takes the genitive case that is it ends in a kasra let's repeat ala maktab al mudarrisi on the desk of the teacher babul baiti the door of the house let's repeat babul baiti the door of the house in this possessive expression the noun bab 
is the possessed noun and al-bayti is the possessor. Let's repeat. Babul bayti, the door of the house. Dukkanu tajirin, shop's dealer. Let's repeat. Dukkanu tajirin, shop's dealer. Now, we are going to learn about the vocative particle. The vocative particle is called harfun nidai in Arabic. The vocative particle is a word that is used for calling someone. In Arabic, the vocative particle is ya. The word following the vocative particle is called al-munada. It mostly takes the nominative case and it only takes one dhamma, whether it is definite or indefinite. Now, let's see with some examples. Ustadun, a teacher. Ya ustadu, a teacher. Let's repeat. Ustadun, a teacher. Ya ustadu, a teacher. Now, let's see. Some more examples. Ya waladu, o boy. Let's repeat. Ya waladu, o boy. The next one. Ya yasiru, o yasir. Let's repeat. Ya yasiru, o yasir. Now, let's try reading some sentences with the vowel marks. The first one, Ismul Waladi. The second one, Bintu Hamidin. The third one, Miftahul Sayyarati. The fourth one, Ibnul Mudarlisi. The fifth one, Kalamu Hamidin. Congratulations, we have completed our lesson today. If you like this video, please share and subscribe for more videos with Dan, a rocker Goodbye. See you soon.